Hi, and welcome back to my Exploring Women Artists virtual classes. Today we are going to be focusing on Walt Disney's favorite artist, Mary Blair. Um, she, was she was an American artist um, who lived from 1911 to 1978, and um, she was very popular around the 50s and 60s, and during that time a lot of her work was um, was available in Walt Disney's um, movies and theme parks and everything Disney. Um, so I wanted to focus on her today because I saw some of her artwork and immediately recognized it and associated it with um, Disney productions. I wanted to show you a couple of examples of her artwork because I think it's unique and cool and it's really also very cool that I recognized it. I'm not sure if any of you will also recognize um, the style of her work with Disney's productions, but um, I'm sure you will recognize the content. This first one up here is Peter Pan. Here's Captain Hook and Peter Pan fighting on the ship. Again, here's Peter Pan sneaking in. Um, and down here is Alice in Wonderland. Here's the, um, the bunny. And on the back, we have Cinderella. And here's Dumbo. And once again, we have Cinderella when the fairy godmother is turning the pumpkin into a carriage. And up here, the um, birds are making a nice dress for her. So I wanted to show you a couple of her work um, again because I was able to recognize this style with Disney. Um, but I think it's also cool to see how um, Mary Blair contributed to Walt Disney's work. So what Mary Blair did was she created um, concept drawings and concept art which is um, what film users and directors use to um, sort of give idea for sets and what characters are going to look like and how the movie is progressing. So um, what you do when you're, when you're creating a film is you sketch scenes and characters and um, what they're gonna look like and it helps you kind of come up with the visuals of the movie before it's produced. And that's what Mary Blair did with these drawings and those that is called concept art. So Mary Blair's concept art is what she's most famous for, specifically her concept art for Walt Disney. Um, in some of their major and very famous movies. So as I showed you, she um, helped with Peter Pan and Alice in Wonderland, Cinderella, Dumbo. Um, and she, um, her style is still inspiring um, animated movies today. Um, the creators of Up and Tangled said that her work is still very much inspiring them um, in their animation. So her work was most um, prominent during, from, from 1943 to 1953. That's when she did a lot of work for Peter Pan and Alice in Wonderland. Um, and she also made picture books um, and helped with, um, Disney theme parks and Disney themed plays and everything like that. So, so everything Disney, that's kind of her thing. Um, if any of you are familiar with It's a Small World, she had a lot to do with, with the production of that. Um, and I think it's really cool to learn a little bit about the um, inspiration behind these um, Walt Disney's movies and the style of her paintings. I think it's really cool that there's a woman behind that and that Walt Disney was really inspired by this artist. So, in honor of Mary Blair, today's handout is on her. Um, there's a little bit of information about her up here. And as I said earlier, 
Um, she made concept art. These are outlines of some concept art that she made for Walt Disney. Um, and the definition is right there if you forget it. So down here I picked two of my favorite concept drawings that Mary Blair made right here is Peter Pan and Captain Hook fighting on the pirate ship. And over here is a scene from Alice in Wonderland that you may recognize from either the animated or the live action Alice in Wonderland. Um, here is Alice talking to the Cheshire Cat and he's um, holding his head in his hands. Um, so I really liked these two drawings that Mary Blair created and I thought it would be fun for you guys to color them in. Um, so that you get a sense of her style and her color use and um, I think that her style is very distinct, um, which is probably why Walt Disney loved it so much. And I wanted you guys to get a sense of the idea and um, a sense of the inspiration behind Walt Disney's creations. It was not all him. Mary Blair did a lot of the work too, which I think is really awesome. Um, so the link to this handout will be in the description of this video. Um, if you Google Mary Blair concept art, a lot of her work will pop up and I hope that you recognize her style and some of her things. You'll see all the movies that she worked on again. Um, she worked a lot on It's a Small World and did a lot of um, Disney themed murals and Disney themed parks. Um, and she worked on Peter Pan, Cinderella, Alice in Wonderland, um, and Dumbo. So a lot of her work inspired the um, visuals of those movies. So make sure to check that out so you get a better sense of her style and see all the movies that she worked on. And print this handout out that McKenna made, thank you McKenna, and color it in however you like. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this project and share it with me. You can use hashtag loveartsphereinc on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And the written instructions and definitions will be uploaded to Artsphere's blog by the end of today, so check that out too. And I hope everybody stays safe and tune in on Friday for the next Exploring Women Artists class. Thank you.